Welcome back to uh, another painting tutorial. This is Dave Lowe from Get Some Cool In Your Life. And this is the paper I'm going to be using again. Uh, I used this uh, pad last week. And this is actually a hot press paper by Bockingford. And just a few of the brushes that I'm going to be using for this one. I do really enjoy the hake brush. You see one inch hake brush. I just love the the bristles and how much water they hold and then I've got a liner brush a smaller mop brush and um, a small round and I will be using the palette knife and some schmincke hoidam paints so for this one uh, kicking off I just want to get a little bit of a, a loose um, pencil marks so that I'm mapped out where I'm going to go. So I want a little bit more structure to this one this week. Um, usually I just sort of go in and um, just just go in with paint. But sometimes it is nice to use a pencil just to just stay focused on where you want to paint and what you want to include in the painting. So it is going to be quite loose. I'm not going to. Uh, spend too much time doing this pencil um, outline um, but I do want to include a little house in nestled in these trees and it's just a nice simple um, painting. I wasn't sure after I'd done this painting whether it was too uh, busy but let me know in the comments what you think if you watch to the end. So if you are new to my channel, this is the first video you've seen, then please do give me a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think of this video, and I do have uh, lots of videos for beginner friendly uh, sort of tutorials, and so I do go in uh, quite details of how to how I do my paintings. Um, but for this one, I'm just using my hairbrush just to paint in the sky and I've left pockets of white of the paper and that's going to be where the clouds are going to be. So adding this French ultramarine I'm just um, adding it to the wet areas of the paper and then I'll be going in with some clean water just to uh, soften up some of the edges. So I want nice sort of fluffy clouds and wispy clouds. I don't want too many hard edges in this one. So you can see just using the brush now to just soften those edges and it gives me a nice, um, nice cloudy sky. And of course you can always dab out where you feel you want to take some of the pigment off or soften it a little bit more. You can use the paper towel or tissue just to do that. So I think that's pretty much it for the sky. Um, I think I might, might be adding just a little bit bit of dark here and there but that's pretty much it and I've just added a little bit more um, blue and a little bit of red um, just to give me a little bit more uh, colour, a bit more depth and a bit more dark tones. So I'm using this for the mostly the top of the sky and then as it comes down obviously I want it to be quite light so it gives that sense of distance. So if you are if you are new to my channel, then please do check out the rest of my uh, videos. I do have lots of different playlists, and uh, please feel free to subscribe. I upload every single week, mostly on a Monday. I like to have a video sort of scheduled for then. I don't usually fiddle around too much when I'm working on a sky. I think the less you do in a sky, uh, the more sort of fresh it looks. You want that sort of, try and do it as quick as you can and as less, as less messing as you can, as, as little brush strokes as you can. 
uh, it's just best to get it done in um, without thinking too much I guess as well so I just wanted to add a little bit more blue towards the bottom and this is where my trees are going to be um, and then just mopping up just a little bit of the bottom there so you can see the paint's dry now I had allowed about a 10 minute break and that's one thing I do encourage as well you have plenty of breaks while you're painting it just helps you to decide what you want to do next and you can see you can analyze your painting and see what would look nice and if there's something that you was going to include and yes you can always change your mind at least it gives you that chance to think as well so just a few trees in this uh, scene so i popped in the lighter tone first and now i'm just going in with a darker mix uh, the first mix is sort of a yellow ochre a touch of green sap green and then the second mix is more blue and sap green maybe a bit of the yellow ochre as well and then with the same mix i'm just pulling across the uh, foreground of the paper so this is the foreground of the painting I want a nice green um, green grass sort of land I want it quite rugged and I'm gonna be popping all sorts of different colors in here as you can see I'm just adding a bit of blue into that now and I'm letting those colors sort of merge together you can see because it is uh, um, hot pressed paper then you do get lots of uh, pigment running down running into each other which is quite nice I quite like that So it may not look like too much at the moment. Um, there's not really much happening, but I do like the uh, texture in the bottom half of the 
um, painting using the um, edge of a palette knife or you can use a credit card anything like that which I usually do use I've just started using the palette knife now it gives me that nicer broader sort of scrape which is quite nice and you can see how uh, effective that is at leaving uh, just texture at the moment so I will be going in with more pigment more colors but I do sort of like the way it looks at the moment to be honest and uh, I'm not sure when I finish this painting whether I whether I think it's too busy or or um, well, there's too much going on because I've got the sort of sky which I've got lots of clouds lots of shapes um, I think maybe I made a mistake maybe I could have I think if I was to change something I'd probably make the sky a simple sort of just a blue sky maybe something like that um, but it is what it is and uh, I really did enjoy the painting process of this one so I was sort of in two minds whether to upload this one or not um, but I, I just think I'll just upload it anyway and some people some of you might like this one uh, you might learn something from this one and also it just shows to me it shows you that not every painting sort of turns out the way you want and so it, it's okay it's um that's how we learn that's how we grow as we paint we make mistakes and do things wrong and things don't turn out quite the way we want to but hey that's that's just that and that's the way things are so i just thought i'd upload this anyway and just see what you think so if you do have any thoughts please leave them in the comment section and if you do like this video then please do give me a thumbs up it really does help the algorithm to help a channel like mine still growing but um just let me know what you think so just dabbing out little bits of paint here and there i'm yet to paint the cottage or house so i thought a nice sort of uh raw sienna sort of looking roof on this one just to give a little bit of different, uh, I was going in with a bit of grey, but I changed my mind and thought I'd have a bit of a red roof on there today. So it stands out a little bit amongst the green. And now with the one inch hair, I'm just adding a little bit of warm yellow tones. This is yellow ochre, I'm just running it across, giving the first layer a little glaze, and then I'm just adding some of the darker tones now and this is uh, actually Payne's grey mixed with uh, some of the green that I've been using and uh, just to give it some sort of balance I think uh, it does help in these paintings if you go for the darker tones at the bottom it sort of uh, grounds the painting and gives it also depth so the further out you go the paler the colours um, so it's quite nice to do that as well So I'm going to be using the uh, palette knife again. You'll see just wanted to pull up on a few twigs a few weeds and all that sort of thing that you would find in these sort of landscape scenes So I'm using the corner or the point of the palette knife just to scrape up and I think this lends itself quite well with it being hot pressed paper so I don't have any I'm not tearing the paper or damaging the paper in any way so it's a smooth surface so it allows me to get in that paint and really um, really pull up without using it without causing any damage and I wanted to use some of that red in the uh, foreground so just going ahead and then with the liner brush just doing the same as I did with the palette knife just pulling up um, just dancing across the paper with the tip of the uh, brush letting it go any which way it wants and it gives that sort of organic look and that organic feel nothing's too structured and then I'm going side to side with the brush as well just get some of those dark um, shapes and whatever it may be I'm not focused on whatever it 
you know, I'm not planning anything, just going ahead and uh, just just enjoying this one, to be honest. Um, like I said, for this one, it's more of the painting experience that I enjoyed. Uh, I just enjoyed the whole painting process. And now just giving a glaze across the front with some sap green mostly. So it's quite dark. And just a few touches here and there. So it's pretty much uh, pretty much uh, coming to the end. There is just a few details I need to do on the building. So I think I will be using a pen just to give some structure to that building. And one of the things um, I found um, I needed to sort of separate the foreground to the background hills. And so I had this little hill here. I wanted to just add a darker tone. And you can see that really does help in separating the background and the foreground. Otherwise, it just looked a little bit confusing to me. So that serving the purpose of that as well. And like I said, you know, not every painting is going to turn out the way you want. You're not going to be happy with every single painting. Um, it's just about just going in there and having fun and learning something. Each painting, you may learn something new, something that did work, something that might not. And obviously, each painting you do, you become um, you become better at, at painting and better at knowing what works and what doesn't. And just adding these final details with the uh, drawing pen. And you can see just that house hiding through the trees. And it sort of makes for a nice little rugged landscape. Just a few details on the trees, the few branches. Just to give them more um, definition. And that's pretty much it. Nice and simple, maybe too busy, not sure. Um, there is quite a lot going on, but let me know what you think. I do hope you like this one. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think. Is it too busy? Or uh, what, what would you change if you did this sort of painting yourself? Um, I'm not sure, I think there's something maybe missing. Maybe it is just too busy, but uh, do let me know. Do let me know what you think, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.